What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna switch it up a little bit. I remember we were gonna package Emma's bike in like a little box. Uh, we're not gonna do that anymore. Um, I figured I'd wait until I can put some graphics on it so that way she can unbox it and it'll be nice and fresh. Instead, today we're gonna start unboxing that big pile that was here, moved it over that way. Um, and I figured today we'd start with some things that I ordered regarding to storage. Uh, that's a gear bag, helmet box, uh, boot bags, um, can't remember everything else I ordered. I think I ordered a goggle case or something like that. So we're going to get into it, rip that thing open, and I'm going to start doing some comparisons. The main comparisons that I'm going to do is the helmet boxes and the gear bags. I don't really have a goggle case holder, anything like that. I used my old helmet box, so this new box doesn't have it, but I'm pretty sure I ordered a new goggle case and then the gear bag is completely different hopefully everything goes well and uh, we're gonna start doing some more unboxings in the next couple videos instead of bike stuff for now just get all this stuff opened up show you my layout maybe go to a couple trails a couple tracks and start riding in my previous video I didn't really show you Emma's bike all that much so it's right there compared to my bike um, I, I'm super super excited for her to get started on it I've been going over a couple things to start building that crate for it, but like I said, I'd rather wait until we get the graphics put on it and make it look all nice before it gets put in the box for however many weeks until her birthday. Really, really want to get her started now, but I know it's going to mean a lot to her for for me to give it to her on her birthday. So we're, we're just going to hold off on that and get it uh, to her when she's ready. Super excited. Can't wait to pretty my bike up get that thing out of here get a new one in and start putting some motos in super stoked on it all right i'm gonna go grab the box and get started with this unboxing let's see what's inside here all right let's get this started so like i said earlier this is all storage in here let's get this opened up and see what's inside So I got an Acherby's gear bag over here and an Alpine Stars boot bag over here. I think the first thing I'm going to do is open up this because I need to put my boots somewhere. Put that off to the side, a couple of these, Let's get these out of the way. Gear bag coming out. Next up in here, looks like we got a laundry bag. I'll show you guys those later. Then we got the helmet bag over here and looks like the last thing is a goggle case. So I was correct. And we got a couple stickers which are always awesome. Throw this off to the side since I don't need that anymore. So I did say that I was going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I think the quickest way to just get this over with is to do something that I cannot do a side-by-side -side, which is the boot box. So first up is the boot box from Alpine Stars. We got it right here. I got it in like a neon green, blue, and red black pattern. Let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. Got another sticker right here, always awesome. All right, so right out the box, this is what it looks like. It's obviously in the shape of a boot. Feels like it's got really good quality material made out of it. It's got little breathers right here to prevent mildew buildup, which is always really nice. I hate opening up a gear bag and just smelling gear that's been sitting there for quite some time. Cool, cool, really cool. Never had one of these before. Always just stuck my boots in a gear bag and I figured I'd get one of these because I'm tired of going to races and everything's being all muddy and then just dirtying everything up. So first impression of this is, wow, it's really, really nice super spacious on the inside. I'm gonna grab my boots real quick and shove them in here. All right, boots are all closed up. I'm gonna stick them in here now. It looks like, personally I think the bag looks a little tiny before you put the boots in, but we'll see how everything fits once it's all in there. So just slide it in. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be plenty of room in there. this one in 
real nice. Yep. Plenty of room, still has enough space for extra stuff. Put some socks in this little compartment right here. Maybe, you know, I think this is awesome. Never had anything like this. Don't know why I'm just not getting it, but this is absolutely perfect just to keep the inside of my gear bag nice and clean. Pretty easy to maneuver. It's got a little handle here. It's got a strap right here that you can put on this little buckle right here on the side. Snap that right there. You can throw this over your shoulder. Awesome. Really, really happy I invested in one of these. All right, on to the next thing. This is my old helmet box. You can see that it's super floppy. It's called the Brain Box from Ogeo. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's got these metal rods that stick up and they always poke my goggles. I, I keep my goggles right here and some extra gloves. And every single time I transport this, these metal rods stick out. They're supposed to keep the box nice and rigid, but they keep sticking out and they poke my goggles and just scratches up the lenses and it's just, it's just a pain, you know? I'll take my old helmet out of here. I'll do a review on one of those later since I got a new one. Take out my neck brace, got a new one of those. Got a couple tear-offs for the standard 100% goggles. A couple gloves, a couple goggle bags, and goggles. Move all this stuff over. There's a spot right here for your helmet, it's even labeled. Helmet, little sleeve right here so you can put some lenses. There's a neck brace compartment right here. You could stick some more goggles in here and then you got four little pockets for extra goggles. Stick about seven or eight goggles in here, including a helmet and neck brace, which isn't bad, but I'm gonna upgrade. I got a Fox Racing helmet bag. It's just called the MX Helmet Bag. I personally am not a fan of Fox. This was the cheapest bag that I could possibly get, and it's very light. This is kind of heavy. I mean, it's like five pounds. This is just a couple ounces, I'm sure. It looks like you just zip open this little compartment right here. And oh wow, yeah. It feels like the, the inside of a goggle bag. There's an extra compartment right here, just in case you wanna stick some extra stuff in there. I'll probably be keeping my extra lenses or tear-offs from my goggles. All right, so I'll grab my old helmet and see how it fits in here. My helmet is a little dirty right now, so I'm just gonna keep it in this bag. Fits really good. Showies make pretty big helmets. And closing that up right there. Yeah, super, super cool doesn't collapse there's no metal rods poking anything I think this bag is definitely a lot better than my previous one I think this is a better investment for me right now since it's nice and new it's nice and, and sleek it's a good bag it's got a little handle up here it's gonna go good with my addition all right since I have my goggles out here already I got two pairs of hundred percents right here I got an extra hundred percent bag and a spy bag, a couple lens tear-offs, and uh, I got a spy lens right here. I'm gonna grab my box, put those in there. So this is where that little compartment might come in handy for you. Extra tear-offs, stick them in there. Lens replacements, stick them in there. Gone, out of the way, nice and sleek, good to go. Let's move this out of the way, this will be for another day. 100% goggle bag. I've never seen somebody use this. I honestly thought it'd be a little smaller. The reviews that I read said that the zipper sucks, but I like 100% a lot, and I was willing to spend the money to get something like this to protect my goggles. And it seems like it's made out of the same stuff that the helmet box is made out of on the outside. It feels really nice. It looks really nice. Let's see how these zippers operate. Oh cool, it looks like it comes with like a little GoPro foamy right in here. I could probably, I'm probably not going to use that for in here, but I can use that for some other things. It looks like these little separators or these dividers can get pulled out and changed however the way you want it to be. It's got little pockets right here so you can store some extra stuff, probably some GoPro things and a little sleeve in here so you can also keep some stuff. This is a pair of Acuries. So if you run 100% Acuri goggles, they're just a little bit smaller because they don't have those extra frames to get put onto your helmet. Acuries fit pretty comfortably in here. There's a lot, a lot of room. That's good. I'll stick those in here. Next goggle is a Racecraft goggle. These ones, 
also have a lot of room. It looks like, honestly, if I take those dividers out, I could definitely fit more than four goggles in there, but I don't have that many. So I'm just gonna keep as many goggles as I can in here before I take those dividers out. But both these goggles fit really well inside here. 100% recently came out with our Mega goggles. And I have a pair in one of those boxes over there that I will be adding to this as soon as I get to that. But for now, this is perfect. The lid closes fine. Um, I can definitely tell what they meant by the zipper. Once you get to this corner, it gets a little snaggy on both sides. If you're not going quick enough, you're definitely going to feel a little snag. Yeah, right there. Honestly, that's not that big a deal for me. I can deal with it grab these extra goggle bags right here roll them up put them in this little pocket right there just like that yeah this is really nice cool close that up on to the next thing all right before I get to the actual gear bag I went and bought one of these this I added to the box I didn't actually open up the box and look what's inside but I got this off of Amazon and I just slipped it into one of the cracks of the boxes because I always had a problem with ways to store dirty gear so I ended up getting two of these mesh lined bags they're just laundry bags and they're both exactly the same they're black they're pretty pretty big this little green mat is about four feet by two feet and you can see how big the actual bag is. It's just a mesh bag that's got this little drawstring on it so you can close it up, take all your gear after you're done doing motos, after you're done racing, and just throw them in there and put that in a separate compartment from the rest of your gear so that way your gear doesn't get all muddy and just spread mud all over your gear bag and just ruin it. All right, and on to the final piece of this unboxing, I got the X Moto bag from a charities. Now, my previous bag is awful. I won it during a hair scramble race in 2013, and in the time, it was amazing. It had wheels, it was super easy to get in and out of the trailer, had a lot of storage compartment room for everything, but in 2013, I was a kid and I didn't have that much stuff. So I got this way bigger bag. They only have one size, it says right here. I did a lot of research on it, and this bag's not that popular compared to the other one they have. But I got this one because of how large it was and it had a couple extra cool features that I'd like to share with y'all. So I'm going to rip this open. Alright, first thing right out the bag that I've noticed is it's got a little ID thing right here that you can stick a little card or something just in case you want to travel uh, on a plane or something like that you can stick something in there to ID this bag for yourself. Second thing I noticed is that it's really well sewn. There's a lot of stitching all over this bag. There's a couple rivets in here to prevent stuff from falling out. And it's got a almost like carbon fiber stitched piece of leather here, which gives it this nice, nice look. This bag right now is actually folded, so you can open it up even more and you can see the, the total size of it. It's got two handles right here. On the back here, even more buckles. That way you can cinch your gear down, get it nice and packed. It's got two uh, wheels in the back right here. Roll really nice. It's got a giant piece of plastic uh, rubber type thing right here to prevent it from hitting stuff and breaking this nice smooth corner right here. It's got little frames on both sides here and here, and it's got a nice handle. So I'm gonna open this thing up and see what's inside. This right here is another pocket, just for the top, it's not for the bottom. Um, so you can stick some, some extra little things in there. So it looks like you gotta unclip these buckles to get total access to, these, to the main entrance of this bag. Unzip, this zipper goes all the way around to this side. Wow, all right, so when you first open this bag up, it's got a bunch of compartments everywhere. It's got a big compartment right here, two small compartments right here, a couple massive compartments on the actual lid itself. Opening this compartment up, everything's made out of mesh to prevent uh, that mildew built up. Here, it's got some kind of strap 
So I'm assuming this is probably where you're gonna put a, a helmet or something like that. I'm gonna actually put the boxes that I grabbed all my other gear and put it in inside this just to keep everything nice and organized. So if this is where a helmet bag goes, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. It looks like there's a couple pockets right here for goggles. So here's my helmet box. This clip can get undone by just pushing that, slapping that in there. And they're little elastic bands that you can just cinch your stuff down with. So it looks like a helmet may go there, maybe not. Um, but this is probably where I'm gonna keep mine, if not that, my boots. Opening this little compartment up. Uh, you see this little cutout in the shape of a boot? This is where your boots will go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my boot box and stick it in there. Perfect fit. Just like that. That's awesome. Tuck those straps in. Well, I wouldn't say it's a perfect fit, but it definitely can get done. Boots hidden. Next compartment's right here. Here I think I'm going to probably keep my neck brace and goggle case. So take my goggle case, put it down in here, and that should be enough room for a neck brace right there. Go ahead and zip this up real quick. Cool. So yeah, once again, there's a little extra couple pockets in here that I'm probably going to keep some gloves in or whatnot. I'm going to zip this up real quick and I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see the lid. Nice. So here we have two big compartments. We got one right here and one right here. I definitely can tell you that this is probably where I'm going to be keeping most of my uh, gear itself. Ooh, this spot actually looks like it can fit knee braces pretty well. So here I'll probably keep knee braces. Here I could probably keep gear. So I'm going to close that up because I do have gear that I'm going to be unboxing and I do have knee guards that I will be unboxing. Opening this one up, same thing. A lot of, a lot of room. This has about a seven inch depth to it. So this can hold a lot of stuff. Super, super big. Huge, huge storage. Zip this piece back up. Buckle these buckles back in, cinch them down, and you're ready to go to the track. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys is this little compartment right here. So, if you're ever out of track and you only have your truck or you only have a, like a little tiny cargo trailer, you have nothing that you can step down that's clean, this bag comes with a little mat that unravels when you're changing into your boots, and it's pretty big. It'll fold out like this so you can stand on here, change your boots, so that way you don't have to worry about your socks getting all dirty. And when you're done, just fold it back up, tuck it away. And it's made out of, it feels like it's made out of some kind of nylon and it should be super easy to clean. And you just tuck it away and you're done. That's super, this is, this is amazing. Uh, let me grab my old bag so I can do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So, here is my other bag from HRP Sports. Never heard of that brand until I had this bag. And when I first got it, it was nice and bright, kind of like this one. I'm sure this one's going to get kind of sun bleached like this one. They're both made out of the same material. However, this one is way thicker than this one. So I know this one will be a lot more susceptible to getting dragged and and it's not gonna rip as easy com as compared to this one. This one has a lot more ventilation. I know these sections of this bag will definitely ventilate better than this entire bag would. Opening this bag up, I have a decent sized compartment here, which I can probably put a helmet and maybe just a couple extra protective pieces, but there's no way I can fit my boots in here and everything else. In here, this is where I used to keep all my my jerseys and stuff. It's got the same floor pattern 
little protective piece to prevent it from getting all cut up on the inside. And then there's just the same thing identical to the other side where this is where I tried to stick uh, my neck brace and stuff like that if I wasn't bringing my helmet box. Here, there's a little pocket. I don't think I've ever used it. It looks brand new. It just didn't really seem like there was anything I could put in there. And then there's another pocket right on the front, kind of like how this one has its pocket, but this one doesn't have that rollout mat, which this sold me when I saw that, because I've run into that issue many times, and this bag just doesn't have it. So that really cuts it for this. So I'm going to grab some of my gear. I'm going to throw it in this bag, see how it all folds up. I have exactly four sets of pants and jerseys, but I only have one set of gloves. Four sets of pants, four sets of jerseys, one set of gloves, and I'm just going to throw in a couple of those risk racing callus savers for when I do 24 hour races. Having those is definitely something worth buying. So those callus protectors can definitely go in their own little spot in these little pockets right here, those little extra things. So those can go in there. My gloves can also go in here, so they're out of the way. And this helmet bag still has so much room around it. Instead of keeping my neck brace in one of these, I can definitely just shove it down in here in this little compartment right there. So this, this section is pretty much packed. Moving on to this section where I'm gonna be keeping my gear. Open this up. And like I said, it's really deep. There's a, I can feel the pocket from the outside right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my gear up. So I got one pair of pants right here. Throw the jersey on top of that one. Got another set of pants. I'll stick those right on top. Another jersey that can go on top of this. Third pair of pants right there. Third jersey right here. And my final pair of pants can go right there. And the last jersey will go on top of that. Now, this can still be folded up. This can get shrunken. I can stick. I can definitely, if I was pushing it, which I don't need to, I can definitely double how much clothes I have in here right now. And this will include socks, my chest protector I'll keep in here. There's a lot of room in this bag. Just four sets of gear right now. I can zip it, absolutely no problem. Close this up real fast. Zipping it is still not an issue. You can tell that there's a little bit more fluff up here because this is where the jersey and stuff are, are actually at. And then in here will be where uh, I keep my knee braces. And then one more time, I got this pocket right here, which I can put a hydration system up there, do whatever I want like that. All right, that'll conclude today's unboxing. Tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna get into more stuff. I think I'm gonna start from the top and go down. So I think the next thing it looks like knee braces and socks probably. So I'm super, super, super stoked about that. I had these plastic knee guards that they were sufficient, but I decided to invest in some carbon knee braces and we're gonna go and open those up tomorrow. Super excited on that. I did order a knee brace bag, but it never came. So I'm gonna have to contact Motosport and figure out why that didn't ship because that's something that I planned on keeping with the knee braces. I did show you guys that I had that, that bag to keep dirty gear in. I didn't use it because all my gear is pretty clean right now. So uh, that'll conclude today's video. Again, I thank you for your patience with me. This is new to me. I'll get better at it. I know I'm still camera shy and whatnot. Please consider subscribing. It's, it, it'll mean a lot to me. It means a lot to my family. Once again, have a good one.